ان الحمد لله نحمد ونستعين ونستغفره نعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له اشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن الا وانتم مسلمون يا ايها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحده وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تساءلون به والارحام ان الله كان عليكم رقيبا يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم اعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما اما بعد فان اصدق الحديث كتاب الله خير الهدي هدي محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وشر الامور محدثاتها فان كل محدثه بدعه وكل بدعه ضلاله وكل ضلاله في النار وانما توعدون لات وما انتم بمعجزين praise allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and he's the only one worthy of praise i seek his help his guidance and his forgiveness i believe in him and i trust him i seek refuge in almighty allah from the evil of our passions indeed whomsoever allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guides him to al-islam no one can mislead him after allah and whomsoever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala put him astray, no one can guide him after Allah. I testify openly that there is no deity worthy of worship except Allah Rabbil Alameen. And I testify that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is his messenger and the seal of all the prophets. O Muslims, you must know that the best speech is the speech of Almighty Allah which is the Quran. The best guidance is the course of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, which is his sunnah. The voice of all affairs is innovation and addition to the religion of Islam. Indeed, every addition to the religion of Islam will lead to hellfire. I adjure you as well as myself to fear Allah subhanahu wa taala to the best of your ability. Fear Allah, don't die, and don't die unless you are in a state of Islam. After this, I greet you all with the greeting of Islam. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. May the peace and the blessing of Almighty Allah be with you all. I welcome you all for continuation of our tafsir classes. We're still working with Surah Al Ahzab, the Confederates. This is Surah number 33. And inshallah, we continue with our tafsir. We work in with verse number 44 and up. A'udhu billahi s-sami'i l-alimi min ash-shaytani r-rajim. Tahiyyatuhum yawma yalqawnahu salam. Wa'a'adda lahum ajran kareema. Ya ايها النبي انا ارسلناك شاهدا شاهدا ومبشرا ونذيرا وداعيا الى الله باذنه وسراجا منيرا وبشر المؤمنين بأن لهم من الله فضلا كبيرا ولا تطع الكافرين والمنافقين ودع أذاهم وتوكل على الله وَكَفَى بِاللَّهِ وَكِيلًا Verse number 44 
وأعد لهم أجرا كريما This verse comes after verse number 43 which had informed us that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with his generosity, sin, mercy, guidance on those believers those who remember Allah a lot those who glorify Allah by the morning and by the evening يا أيها الذين أمن اذكروا الله ذكرا كثيرا وسبحوه بكرة وأصيلا and he said هو الذي يصلي عليكم وملائكته ليخرجكم من الظلمات إلى النور وكان بالمؤمنين رحيما Oh, you believe, remember Allah with much remembrance and glorify His praise morning and afternoon. And that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He is the one who sends salah, blessings in you. And His angels too ask Allah to bless and to give you forgiveness from your sins that He may bring you out of darkness, of disbelief and polytheism, into light of Islam, belief and monotheism. And He is Almighty Allah, is ever most merciful to the believers. Now the verse comes to continue more about the blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the generosity, the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is the treatment of Allah in the dunya, all right? Sending salah in you, take, making the angels blessing you, taking you out of the darkness to the light, and His mercy to the believers. Now, here the verse is moving to see another chapter of our life, because we have different stages, okay? being in alam al-dhar or not existence to be in you understand in the mother womb to be in this dunya and after this to be in the grave and after this to come to another stage to the hereafter and after this the final stage which is Jannah insha'Allah to the believers so we saw the caring of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala first stage when we are like the absence that not existence and how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had took the all this future generation of Adam and made them witness okay am I not your Lord and they said indeed there was no doubt and after this we go to the second stage and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sends the angel to record and to write what's going to be happening and after this come to this life and how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala snatching the believers from the darkness because they surrounded with a lot of corruption and a lot of misunderstanding and a lot of bid'ah and shower them with lights to take them from the darkness. Now we come about another stage. Which stage of the barzakh or the stage of the hereafter? And what's going to happen here? Something else again because the mercy of Allah it will continue because this is the nature of Allah to be Rahman and Rahim most compassionate, most merciful but especially for the believers and the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala comes also in the form sending messengers, revealing books so the guidance be always there so Allah doesn't want you to go to hellfire so he send books, send messengers so it continues being a means of guidance so you can know your way to Allah okay now when a person about departure now they finish chapter 3 okay now you go to another chapter you go to the barzakh you go to the grave or that you start in this life and you're going to be resurrected so what's going to happen a special entertainment 
special welcoming only for who? For the believing one. So here is say tahiyatuhum يوم يلقونه سلام تحياتهم their greeting تحية okay تحية which is the greeting salutation how you welcoming and meeting somebody this is called تحية the greeting okay تحياتهم who are there is a pronoun but is referring because the verse before Allah سبحانه وتعالى said وكان بالمؤمنين رحيما and Allah is so compassionate so merciful towards the believers now the believers go to a different stage which is death or the resurrection in the day of judgment so he said تحياتهم their greetings يوم the day, like you say, يوم السبت, يوم الأحد, Sunday, Monday, like this. So, يوم. يوم is a day. Is that day what's going to happen? Is in your left, brother, Salah. In your, in your left. He's waiting for you. <laughs> Special cushion one. You see? Now, we just were talking about how Allah welcomes the believers. So, you see how the Imam having a cushion one waiting for you. So the tahiyya to whom? Because the people, you understand? You treat the people, okay, as they deserve to be treated. So the believers also have a special welcoming by Allah. Not by the angel, no, okay? But by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this is something that we need to think about, it, okay? You want to go to see the president or the king or whosoever, and you go to the secretary or you, no. Here is saying تحياتهم يوم يلقونه يلقونه when they meet him. Who are you talking about? We're talking about Allah. Allah He Himself He will welcome you. <laughs> Can you imagine this? Who you are? Huh? A little tiny thing, you understand? You can compare you to, to the palm tree or compare yourself to the mountain. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is welcoming you. And the welcoming in time that you really so scared. Everything around you is a moment of fear. Okay? If it's death or resurrection. Which one? Because there is a day when you start the beginning of meeting with Allah, with death. Okay? Or the resurrection, the day of the judgment, when you come. And in both cases, everything is scary. You never saw angels before? Huh? You never dealt with departure of soul? So things is scary. But you find in the moment of scary, you need anything, anybody to comfort you. So here you find Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is welcoming you. Okay? Or a day of a judgment which you come and after this the sirat and everything like you may call it upside down, resurrection. People naked, people everywhere. Okay? Sun is so close to the people's head, and so a moment of fear. But he found in this moment, he found what? Tahiyya. It must be understand like a special, something special. Okay? So saying Tahiyya to whom? Their greetings, which who? The believers. يوم the day يلقونه the day when they meet with him سبحانه وتعالى لقاء is a meeting okay يلقونه shall meet him is what سلام okay and this which is the تحية that Allah had to choose for Adam عليه السلام when he was in Jannah and he doesn't know about any of these things first greeting or he said go and greet the angels see how they go to greet you back and now he learned about the tahiyya and said this will be for you and your generation he said assalamu alaikum the person respond wa alaikum assalam wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullah wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh 
So, and this greeting is what? Utilizing one of Allah's names. Okay? The name of Allah is the Salam. And the Salam, which is peace or perfection. Because Allah is the source of peace. And those who connect themselves with the Sharia in the way and the laws of Allah, Allah will bless them with peace. And this peace will happen if they don't even have a roof over their head. Even if they don't have a dollar in their pocket. Because it's a state of a heart and mind before to be a material thing. Okay? So, here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when He get, and you found that this peace is something very important. And now you can see how the countries, okay, spend thousands and billions of money and their time and they still they scare from everything okay why because if you are not in a state of safety and tranquility and peace you could enjoy the food you could not enjoy the the house you could not enjoy anything all right and also peace is perfection okay and when you say to to somebody, assalamu alaikum, as if you're telling him, okay, I promise you, my dealing with you is nothing except the peace. I'm not going to backbite you, I'm not going to slander you, I'm not going to hit you, I'm not going to attack you, I'm not going to cheat you, okay? This was the Muslims, they said to each other. Or he's saying perfection, okay? That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, assalam. That means Allah is free from any kind of deficiency. Anything which takes the status of Allah for being the high and the most high down, like a sharik partner or a son or sleeping or slumber or being poor, okay, or being weak, to be crucified, to be spit on his face, to be whipped, to be killed on the cross. Deficiency, huh? Allah is above. So when you say Allah is a salam, that means Allah is the perfect in every essence and every way. So nothing of this nonsense you can attribute it to Him. So in that day would be a greeting that Allah welcomes them, say to them a salam anew. Or that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala telling them and giving them security. Don't worry. Yes, the sun is so close and people sweating. But as the Prophet sallallahu had told us, the seven types of people will be in this moment under the shade of Almighty Allah, the throne of Almighty Allah. While people sweating is the day of a judgment. But this is the general people. But there is other people here to the side, okay? They have a special shade, a special welcoming, a special treatment, okay? And one of them, okay, Imam Adil. And you can see the whole corruption coming and going today, because what? <coughs> Residents, kings, those people are in charge of the Muslims' affair, or non-Muslims, they are not fair, they are not just. So, as example, you found the countries and everything is boiling. Okay? Because there is no justice. There is no fairness. Okay? So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will be greeting with them with the greeting or that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala giving them the security. Hellfire, don't worry about it. Sun is so close, don't worry about it. You understand? Uh, all this, okay, people so crowded, don't worry about it. People understand crying and people in tears and sweat, don't worry about it. Why? Because Allah had welcomed these people, gave them a special entertainment, and the Prophet ﷺ had counted that one of these seven people, that's Imam Adil. Because the Imam is the head of the Islamic State, or any state, alright? And he has the ability that he can be unjust, he can steal, he can be cheated, all kind of things. But he still, with his power and his authority, is still what? Fair and just. Okay? And this is, he says that been a story about Omar, they saw him sleeping. But he was sleeping where? Under a tree. 
Okay? Very simple. No bodyguard, not a sword, not a knife, not a handgun, nothing. So anybody can attack him. And actually, the way Umar bin died, huh? he been killed. So was, those people were so accessible to their ra'iyah, to their followers. Why? Because they are not worried, because they already have peace in their hearts, because they've been fair with the people. So when this man walked and saw Umar, he said, Akamta, fa'adalta, fa'aminta, fa'nimta Umar. You became a ruler. Okay? But in your rulership, he did what? He was fair and just. As a result of this, he was secure, he was safe. You're not worried. You're not worried about anybody coming and attack you. Why don't they attack you? You're giving them. You're not holding it only for your family. Okay? فَأَمِنْتَ فَنِمْتَ يَا عُمَرْ So indeed, Umar, you don't have anything to worry about it. As a result of this, he laying down under a tree in the middle of nowhere. You're not worried about somebody going to kidnap you or do anything to you. All right? So, here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give a special entertainment for a special people as the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam gave example with seven types of people, you understand, whom Allah will shelter them and shade them under his shade, which is no shade in that day except the shade of Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He said, وَأَعَدَّ لَهُمْ أَجْرًا كَرِيمًا and in, so the first way is the welcoming. And this itself is going to be indication that everything is okay. Don't worry about it. But now after the greeting, which already indicates that everything is okay with, for you, Allah said, وَأَعَدَّ لَهُمْ The pronoun referring to who? To the believers also. Because the most important thing is the belief. If you have a belief, so you are from Awliyaullah, the friends of Allah. It's not an animosity. But if there is a kuf, you became Awliya al Shaitan. You became the friend of the Shaitan. And when you became a friend of the Shaitan, alright, you became enemy of Rahman. You became a wali and a loved by a Rahman, you became enemy of the Shaitan. And a person, every person has to make his choice in this life and to make his stand and his seat where you're going to be. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, وَأَعَدَّ لَهُمْ And Allah أَعَدَّ لَهُمْ He himself had prepared for who? For the believers. For the believers. Okay? State of Iman. To be believing and to trust in and content Especially, you understand? Belief in Allah is the assess, is the foundation of all the articles of belief. Because one of the articles of belief is what? Belief in the Qadr. Say somebody. So if you believe in Allah, believing in His name, His attributes, knowing that Allah fair, just, now it doesn't matter what is the Qadr going to have it. Okay? Now it fall in your head or it fall in your toe, you're going to get up and say, Alhamdulillah, and you from the smile. Even if you don't have the smile in your face, your heart is content. Why? Because you know Allah is fair. You know Allah is just. And He gives you or take away from you, you're ready for it. You see? So the belief is something very important. And before all the belief in the angels and the Qadr and the books and all, you have to believe in Allah. Because if you believe in Allah, then you see the angels. First of all, he didn't? You didn't see the angels? Okay, you didn't. But you believe in the angels? Yes. You see, what? Because you believe in Allah. Mm -hmm. This is the point. So if you did not have this foundation of belief, you could not pray. You are not going to do the halal and you stay away from the haram. So also the same thing, the foundation of all the ibadah is the belief. The foundation of all the articles of belief is believing in Allah. Believing in Allah, believing in Him. Not that He exists only, but you believe that 
he is fair about everything. So now I believe in the Qadr. So the Qadr gave me or take away from me, both of them is good. Okay? But how I, he is going to take from you and is good? Because he knows. He knows. Okay? People get happy to be married. But how I can be happy to get divorced? Happy because, you know, it's Qadr Allah. He did. It didn't work. So, the Qadr of Allah, I'm going to go with it. I don't have to be walking and laughing and jumping, but I'll be content. Everything is going. I'm still going to the mosque. I'm still making my salah. Why? Because I'm content with what of Allah. This is a belief. Okay? Can we talk about this some more? Because this is, uh, we have said that uh, the belief that, that Allah exists, and this was among many people. Yeah. Uh, but there, there was a deficiency in there. Uh, they, they did not. You see, a lot, a lot of the people, they believe, but they don't know what does it mean to believe in Allah. You see that Allah exists. No, it's not. Yes, Allah exists. But what does it mean? Believe in Allah is not that He exists, because the mushrikeen in the time of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam they believe that Allah exists. Exactly. More than this, they believe in some of Allah's actions that He is the one who caused life and death, and He is the one who provides. Mm -hmm. But they still worship in other things beside Allah. Mm -hmm. You see, so belief in Allah, believing in Allah Himself. Believing in his attributes, believing in his names, and that among Allah's names is Al Alim, Al Hakim, the most knowledgeable, the wise. Mm -hmm. So Allah doing everything with wisdom. What is doing it is not there is a difference between somebody doing something and by accident they understand I did like this, I knocked down this laptop, I break it. It's by accident. Allah doesn't do things by accident. Okay, or I get mad so I knock it down and after this I'm sorry. Allah doesn't do it like this. So when Allah gives it all take, this is what we want. Because we're ready to receive the giving. But when the taking is a different story, our attitude is different. Why? Because we are not thinking about Allah's knowledge, Allah's wisdom, okay? And like we, we, we stated before in Surah Al-Kaf, you remember when we talk about the Khidra and Musa mm -hmm. and how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had gave and inspired a Khidra to kill the child. Mm -hmm. To somebody said, what a child, innocent a child to be killed. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is showing you that the belief and for you to die as a Muslim is more important than having a child. Having a child, what the benefit of a child that will make you kafir. But I don't know because my love to this a child becomes so strong, now if he goes astray, I will follow him. So Allah wants to save your Islam, even if you have to lose your child. So Allah knows what he's doing. And Allah knows about your attachment to certain things. So a mother, after a certain number of months or years, takes the bottles, doesn't give the baby milk, and doesn't breastfeed him anymore. But a child, this is like hurting. Mm -hmm. But the mother and so want you to get in your feet now. Yeah, I'm not going to be a baby anymore. You're going to be a child. And after this, you're going to move. You're going to start to crawl. You're going to walk. You're going to have to walk in your feet. You see, mother has this wisdom, but the child doesn't. But if you give him the opportunity to understand what does it mean that your mother is older than you, more knowledgeable than you, and that she intends for you now that you start to get in your own, and became stronger, and he could not see. But our belief is what is going to make us accept whatever Allah do it. And that we take it with welcoming. And like I said, maybe we are not going to be smiling, but our heart. And as Allah said, وَمَنْ يُؤْمِنْ بِاللَّهِ يَهْدِ قَلْبَهِ Whosoever believes in Allah, Allah will guide his heart. That means Allah will make tranquility in your heart. Mm -hmm. You will accept it, you know that Allah knows is the most wise, fair, just, and Allah doing what is good for you. Okay? And he said, وَأَعَدَّ لَهُمْ أَجْرًا What is أَجْرًا? Reward. Mm -hmm. After you work, you get rewarded, you get paid, compensation. Alright? So Allah made the time here for us to work. So we believe, we did the best we can, 
So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala now He is giving you Welcoming you with the greeting Salam Making things peaceful for you And sending the angels Moment of death Because Yawm now can be one of two Liqa of Allah Start with the death And in this moment of death There is a fear also And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying In the Quran إن الذين قالوا ربنا الله ثم استقاموا تتنزل عليهم الملائكة ألا تخافوا ولا تحزنوا وأبشروا بالجنة التي كنتم توعدون نحن أولياؤكم في الحياة الدنيا وفي الآخرة Those who say Allah is our Lord and they live according this أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله and you live according this Those who say Allah our Lord then they stay fast with this statement, they go according it, okay? No fear, no sadness for them. No fear, no sadness. تتنزل عليه الملائكة when the time of death approaching, fear, because the departure of the soul, sadness about the wife, the children, the father, the mother, the relatives, Okay? You don't know what is the future. There is other future. Okay? Not only after I finish the school, now the future, I'm going to find a job or not. Even these things, understand, be bothering you. And you go and in the morning, understand, you stand. How is the interview going to be? This for a small thing, temporary thing. Can you imagine you don't know, is it Jannah or Hellfire? What's the question? Seeing angels, all this fear. But the angels will come to do what? Make it easy in you, in this moment. Allah said, تَتَنَزَّلُ عَلَيْهُ الْمَلَائِكَةِ أَلَّا تَخَافُ وَلَا تَحْزَنُ Angels will come to strengthen them. It's a moment that you need support. Okay? So the angels will come to make it easy on them. And telling them, don't be sad. Okay? No fear. Okay? And don't say it. Don't be sad for what you're living. And don't be afraid about what's going to happen. When you go in the grave, when is it? Okay? So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying this. So the liqa will be the greeting of Allah that will be in the moment of death or the moment when you meet with Allah in the day of the judgment. It can be one or both or both of them, but because the liqa of Allah starts with death. The meeting with Allah starts with death. Okay? Now what is used to be unseen going to start to be seen. You understand? Mm -hmm. What you used to be unseen, the moment that you're about to die, you start to see things you could not see it before. Okay? Now your vision and your eye is sharp. Now you can see and you can hear what you could not see or hear before. You can see your soul also. You can see the angels that come and take your soul. Your, your sight will be forward. The soul when it's leaving. When you understand that, huh? And other things, not only that, like you know, some. فكشفنا عنك غطاءك. فمصروف يعني من الممكن إنه he can see other stuff also. Other, not cats and dogs. No, I mean. Other things, but the main things that we. He's not worried about what you understand. Is it about a fan or air condition or a new rug? We talk about things which are related to the market, to the situation. And mostly what it is, is the angels taking the soul, leaving the garden. When the Prophet ﷺ went and Abu Talha, okay, was dead, and the Azu is said because the sight will follow. Follow the soul, yeah. See the soul leaving and start to look. So now the Prophet ﷺ go and close his eyes. You see? But he said when he says that the roh, the soul is leaving, the vision will be following it. So now the person will start in a different thing. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala giving things for the believers. And this is what it has to remind us that we have to always to continue to be believers, stay on the Sirat al-Mustaqim as much as possible in this life. So will be tahiyya, will be the greeting, and will be the preparation of what Allah said from the ajr and the reward because the ajr will be given because now it's finished 
When you die dying now, there is no more salah as obligatory, there is no more fasting, so it's the time to be paid now. So, but it's already been prepared. Okay. So it's a matter of giving you. وَأَعَدَّ لَهُمْ أَجْرًا كَرِيمًا Honorable. Okay? And when we say about ajr and karima, is not only an ajr. Because Allah can give ajr and this aid. Okay? You pray a hasana. And this aid. But Allah deals, especially with the believers, with what? With a generosity. You work one hour, we give you what they pay for one hour. But you can work for an hour and somebody giving you not saving 50, is going to give you $10. So there is something between paying the fare and something called generosity, giving more. So now Allah is, is the one who is dealing with you. And the nature of Allah or the qualities of Allah is generosity. As a result of this, he found that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave for every blessing, he gives 10 times, and to some people, Allah gives them more than 10 times. Even it's reached to 700. And to some people, more. And to some deeds, He said, unlimited. You, don't, you could not imagine. So it's already prepared, and prepared by who? So you have to understand who is the one who had prepared it, and what is the nature of this one, which is Allah, which is generosity. So he's not going to give you, okay, you make salah, we give you the, no. He's giving you a reward and generosity is there with this. Ya ayyuhal nabi, O Prophet of Allah. Okay? Okay, verse 44. Their greeting on the day they shall meet with him will be salam, peace. Mm -hmm. I.e. the angels will say to them, salam alaikum. And he has prepared for them a generous reward, i.e. paradise. O Prophet of Allah, Ya ayyuhal Nabi, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Inna arsalnaka shahidan. <تصفيق> ومبشرا ونذيرا إن أرسلناك أوكي okay. this is number one شاهدا number two ومبشرا ونذيرا أوكي okay. يا yeah. as we say حرف النداء the article for calling أو النبي the prophet أوكي okay. صلى الله عليه وسلم إن we, or surely we, arsalnaka, from the verb arsala, okay, and comes the word rasul, okay, arsalnaka, we have sent you, arsala, sin, you, became the calf, na, Allah, so the whole word arsalnaka, we have sent you, شاهدا witness ومبشرا a person who carry a glad tiding good news okay ونذيرا from the verb أنذرا ينذر so he became a nazir a warner وداعيا okay دعا يدعو الدعوة Okay, a caller or to invite. إِلَى اللَّهِ To Allah. بِإِذْنِهِ With His permission. وَسِرَاجًا إِلَامْ مُنِيرًا Spread in Latin. Okay? Here, نعم. الحمد لله. 
So in this verse, number 45, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talking to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And we want to notice something here. That the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam came as a shahid. Shahid on what? What is a shahid? When you go to a court, there is a judge there. And the judge, when he dealing with the case, is asking for what? Witnesses. Witnesses, proof, okay, evidence. And what is the witness? He's come to say, yes, this person was in my house. We were drinking tea at 9 o'clock, okay? And after even we have a receipt that we went after this two Dunkin' Donuts, we brought some Dunkin' Donuts, he came to my house. So by no means he can be part of the crime because we were in a house and this is a receipt. He was in my house and all this thing, okay? So he bring evidence and the proof, all right? This, the witness. The judge, regardless how much he know or how much he read about the case, he asking for the witnesses. All right. So here Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, and this only as example, general example. Allah can judge the people with no witness, with no evidence, with anything. But we mention about Hadith Qudsi that Allah saying, Ya ibadi, inni haramtu al-zulm ala nafsi, wajaltu baynakum muharrama, fala tazzalamu, O my slave servant. Indeed, I had forbid aggression on myself. Okay? And I made aggression, okay, to be prohibited among you. So do not wrong one another. If Allah wants to oppress one of us or be unfair with us, who can stand against Allah? What we can do? If Allah wants to take somebody from the mother of his child womb and from the mother, uh, his mother womb immediately to hellfire, who can stop Allah? No one. Okay? But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, with his generosity, Fairness, with, with, with all the things. He letting Jibreel come all the way down. Okay? Letting the Prophet receive a message. The Prophet receives the message, he goes to convey the message. And he goes through all this hardship. You see? If Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants to make the day of judgment without anything, he will do it. But Allah sent. Okay, as they said, وَمَا كُنَّا مُعَذِّبِينَ حَتَّى نَبْعَثَ رَسُولًا Never Allah punish a community until He send first a messenger to them. So you have no excuse before Allah. And Allah will make the prophet or the messenger to be a witness against His people. Okay? He deliver or not. Okay? So there is no excuse. All right. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala telling the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam the same way that Allah had sent messenger to their ummah before, he sent the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. But look, to those prophets who came before, he have a hundred people here in such town, Thamud or wherever, or five hundred people or whatever. But look to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. He been sent to be the final and the last prophet. <coughs> Can you imagine all this million and billion and trillion of people that coming and keep coming and keep coming? So he's going to be a witness for or against all these people that are supposed to be his ummah. You can see how big job this is. Yeah? Until the day of judgment. Although there is no prophet after him, no messenger after him, but Allah gives the continuity of this da'wah. Of this da'wah. Look where, anybody know where we are sitting here? 
this not Egypt or Mecca? We are in America, is it? Look where we're talking. Subhanallah. We are in America. And the da'wah here, and we say it in the people's mother tongue, right? A reach. So Allah make mechanism that this will continue. Even the Prophet وسلم, being a prophet, being a human being, he have a certain time being a human being, he has to die, but the da'wah didn't die. Today, you found a mosque, you found a teacher, you found a preacher, you found a sheikh or whatever, and still giving it, and it will continue. So when the Prophet وسلم, come and to be a witness, that exactly he will be witness, but the greatness of the Prophet it shows the great the Ummah greatness and the big job. So number one that he became Rasul. Allah said, Arsal Naka. This is number one. A mission of being a messenger. Arsal Naka. So he is a Morsel. He is being sinned. He did not understand and start to think about oh that this community understands those Arabs is keep fighting over camels and I'm going to make no. In the Arsal Naka. We indeed we send you Muhammad. You did not make it in your own, okay? We commission you, okay? We assign you a homework and duty to do it. As a result of this that you're going to be a shahid, you're going to be witness. So Yawm Qiyamah, Allah will ask, did you deliver? Did you do your homework, Muhammad? You see how fair? The most beloved person to Allah, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will ask the witness. Alright? Did you deliver the message? As a result of this, he found that the Prophet sallallahu in Hajjat al-Wada'ah, he stand and tell the people, did I convey the message? Did I convey the message? Say it. And the Prophet وسلم, say, Oh Allah be witness. I convey it. And the Prophet وسلم, had also laid down the homework on our shoulder. Let the one who's present today convey it to those who are not here today. And it continued. It will continue. It will continue. Okay. Shahidan. The second thing is what nature of this Islam, Mubashiran wa Nadira. So the da'wah go in Targheeb and Targheeb. Given the glad tiding Targheeb, that you try to convince the people through the proper message, the lenience, the softness, you understand the reward and uh, what you call the virtues of such a thing. This is called Targheeb excitement, how good, how this and this you will get and and the Tarheeb is the fighting, scaring, discouraging you found. So you found the Prophet وسلم, talks about Jannah and talks about hellfire. Talks about the reward and talks about the punishment. You see? So it's going to be a Mubashiran and also an Azira. Because some people the Bushra the glad tidings, the good news will work with them, fine. But some people you're going to have to wake them up and tell him that hellfire is so serious. It will make the skin melt. It makes the bones crushes. And Allah call it al hutama the one that destroy, like a goner, okay? So you're going to have to talk this, and you have to talk this. Okay? Wa muashiran wa nadira. What else? Wa da'iyan. A person who gave da'wah. Keep inviting. He did not say a fighting. Okay? In both a da'iyah. A da'iyah. Okay? This what comes. This number one. Hijab is the da'wah invitation. And Allah said even to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, فَذَكِّرْ إِنَّمَا أَنْتَ مُذَكِّرْ لَسْتَ عَلَيْهِمْ بِمُسَيْطِرْ Remind them. You only a reminder. You have no authority over them. You could not turn these hearts to Islam. You can only claim and tell them. 
or Fatima, or Abbas, or so and so. Indeed, I am a messenger of Allah. People who understand come in the day of judgment with their deeds. Don't come with my you understand, family relationship. You have to do a deed because I could not prevail. You understand from the punishment of Allah. Everybody has to work. This is what it is. You understand? وَدَعِيًا إِلَى اللَّهِ بِإِذْنِهِ وَسِرَاجًا مُنِيرًا And we'll continue with this verse, inshallah, next week uh, because the time for Maghrib and we see the issue of da'wah and what does it mean بِإِذْنِهِ and continue with description of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Thank you for being here. 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 Thank you for being here.